All right, so in this video, we're going to see some examples of converting logarithmic notation to exponential notation. In other words, we're converting logs to exponents. So just like the other video where we went the other way, uh, we're not going to solve for any of the variables here. So we're not going to solve for x, not solve for a, or y, et cetera, et cetera. We're just going to convert one type of notation to another. So here we have the base 4 logarithm of x equals 7. So if you want to convert that to exponential notation, what's that going to be? Well, here, base is 4 and then base 4 log of x is 7. So remember, logarithm is just a fancy way of saying exponent. So if we say the base 4 log of x is 7, then that means 7 is the exponent, and 4 is the base. So remember, the base in a logarithm is the same as the base in the exponent. So if we want to convert this to exponential notation, that's going to be oops, 4 to the 7th equals x. Okay. So base 4 log of x equals 7 is the same thing as saying 4 to the 7th equals x. 4 to the 7th equals x. How about over here? So we have the sides uh, of the equal sign swapped, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't change anything. 9 equals the base a logarithm of 100. Okay, so a is the base. a is the base. And remember, 9 equals the base a log of 100, so that means 9 is the exponent. And then all that's left is 100. a to the 9th equals 100. Okay. How about this guy over here? So the base 2.5 log of the number 3 is y. So we have 2.5. That's kind of weird, but it's okay. Uh, that's totally legitimate. It's allowed. So base 2.5. 2.5 is our base. The base 2.5 log of the number 3 is y, so that means y is the exponent. So we'll put parentheses around here just to be thorough and clear, etc., etc. So 2.5 to the y is 3, so 3 is all that's left over. So here, base 2.5 log of the number 3 is y. So again, logarithm is just a fancy way of describing exponents. So if we say the base 2.5 log of 3 is y, that means y is the exponent. Base 2.5 log is the same here for the base 2.5 exponent. Okay, And then all that's left is 3, so 3 goes over here. Now what about the base 12 log of 1 8 equals w? So here we have a fraction, but it doesn't really change anything. Okay, So base 12 log, so the exponent is also base 12. Now, the actual logarithm itself is w. w is the base 12 logarithm of 1 8. Okay, we don't know what number it actually is. We don't care what it actually is. But all we know is that w is the base 12 logarithm of 1 8. So w is the exponent. Okay, so 12 to the w equals 1 8. Okay, how about here? We have the base 90 log of c equals negative 3. So base 90 log means 90 is the base in the exponent notation. And then negative 3 is the actual value of the logarithm. Okay, log 90 of c is actually negative 3. So negative 3 is the exponent. And then that equals c, because c is all that's left. Okay, so 90 to the negative 3 equals c is how we convert that to exponential notation. So now we have log base x of 4 equals 1 sixth. So again, we have a fraction here, but again, that changes nothing. So what are we going to have? Well, base x in the logarithm means base x in the exponent. The actual, the logarithm actually is 1 sixth. 1 sixth is the base x logarithm of 4. So 1 sixth is in the exponent. And then that equals 4. Okay, so that's six simple examples of converting from logarithm notation to exponential notation. They really don't get a whole lot more complicated than that. So that's that. And in a different video, we covered how to convert from exponents to logs.